Powers. So the main development politically has been that unity government, that war cabinet assembled by Benjamin Netanyahu. He will preside over that. It will include his defense minister, but also the former defense minister and the opposition leader, Benny Gantz, really the unity there in Israel, um, being able to come together politically, something that they have really struggled to do in recent months. And overnight, you had the Israeli Defense Force saying that they are carrying out extensive attacks um, in Gaza, continuing to bomb. We have had sort of relentless bombing since Saturday. We have another death toll now in Gaza that exceeds, according to sources, there are 1,200 people, and they don't have food, they don't have electricity and water. And this all, obviously, as we see more and more Israeli troops amassing on the border of Gaza in anticipation of what we can only assume will be a ground invasion. So what is the next milestone to watch for here in the coming hours? Yeah, so 24 hours, a lot to watch for. So as we say, 100,000 troops are on the border. They've conscripted. They've brought out of the reserves more than 300,000 um, soldiers. And really with the stated intention of destroying Hamas, initially it was just trying to neutralize their military capabilities. That is really, that rhetoric has gotten a lot stronger recently. That is complicated, obviously, by the number of civilians and the dense population of Gaza. The hostages, an unknown number still um, uh, of Israelis that are still under their uh, control. Their equipment, will it be overstretched? And of course, of course, the northern uh, border with Lebanon, if they move into Gaza, could you see Hezbollah acting more?